first graders. I hope all of you are doing well. I miss all of you so much. Today I'm going to be sharing a fun story with you. I'm gonna be reading you a story in this video, and then I'm gonna be showing you a fun drawing that we can do based on the story. So here's the story. Okay, everybody, so this book is called The Museum, and you can try and read along the words with me as we go. This is about a little girl who tours and twirls through the halls of an art museum, and she finds herself on an exciting adventure. The Museum by Susan Verde, art by Peter H. Reynolds. When I see a work of art, something happens in my heart. I cannot stifle my reaction. My body just goes into action. This one makes me want to pose and stand up on my tippy toes. She sees a ballerina. Now I'm all twirly whirly, twinkly, sparkly, super swirly. Does anybody recognize that painting? Maybe it's in our classroom? Hmm. Woo, exhausted. I take a breath. I can't wait to see what's next. Hmm, I think I'll analyze the who's and what's and where's and why's. She's looking at a sculpture now. I'm starting to feel so sad and blue, heavy, lonely, through and through. I think I need something to eat. Those apples would be such a treat. So as you can see, my friends, when she looks at these paintings, they make her feel a certain way. I'm skipping through a field of flowers. I could keep this up for hours. Fragrant, soft, and so delightful. Suddenly, it's all so frightful. Ooh, that one's a scary one. I make silly faces at a guy. He did it first. I do not lie. So colorful. I'm giddy from all these lines and squiggles. I collapse in fits of giggles. Now oh, those ones look happy. I think they make her happy too. Wait, what is this I see? An empty canvas stares at me. A canvas is something that you paint on, but this one looks empty. Hmm. Where is the color? What does it mean? It's the strangest art. I've ever seen. Is this a joke? I shut my eyes and something happens to my surprise. I start to see things in my head, yellow, blue, then green and red. Circles, lines, all kinds of shapes, faces, flowers, and landscapes. I open my eyes and look once more at the canvas that I saw before. Wow, so these are all the different images that she's imagining. It's mine to fill the way I choose. A purple dot, a pair of shoes, zigzag lines, the deep blue sea, a portrait of my mom and me. No longer blank, it's my creation. I am feeling such elation. Elation means she's feeling really happy. What a glorious time I've had. I've been scared, silly, mad, and glad. I'm energized from head to toe, even when it's time to go. The museum's closed for the night, but I know that it's all right. Its rhythm exists in all I see. The museum lives inside of me. Oh, wow, that one might be in our classroom too. What do you think? This one's more swirlies. Wow, and those are all the blank pages that you can imagine. Does anybody have any ideas of what they could put on a blank piece of paper? Hmm. Okay, everybody, so I am feeling so inspired after reading that book that I wanna make a drawing of my own. So. 
Um, I just have some blank paper. If you don't have blank paper, you can use notebook paper, you can use anything that you can find, okay? Um, and you can use whatever you want. I have a few crayons here that I'm gonna be using today. And if you have crayons at home, you can use those. But if you don't have crayons, you can use whatever materials you have, whether it's just a pencil, a pen, maybe you have markers, okay? You gotta get creative and use what you have. Um, I just wanted to show you, this is one drawing that I already made that was inspired by the squiggly painting that the little girl saw in the art museum. Okay, I, I was just so inspired by all the colors that she used and the different types of lines. So this one has different types of lines. I'm gonna show you an example of how I'm gonna make a different drawing now. So I'm just thinking and I love, I love the painting that she had that was a lot like the painting we have in our classroom, the Starry Night one, if anybody remembers that. So I'm actually just gonna start by drawing some stars. And remember, you don't have to draw what I'm drawing. I'm just showing you what I wanna do. You're gonna do what you wanna do. I'm gonna draw some stars. And the way that I can do that is I'm just making my star and coloring it in. And the way that the little girl was feeling, she was feeling all swirly-whirly, right? After seeing that, so I'm feeling swirly-whirly too. I'm gonna make some swirly lines. And watch how I do it. If you need to pause, if you want to see exactly how I do it and it's going too fast, you can just press the pause button, right? And I'm just having fun because I felt really happy after reading that book. And I'm feeling happy while I'm making this drawing. I'm gonna choose a different color now. I'm gonna choose this green. And I'm just following along with the lines. I'm making some swirls. Ooh, here's a nice purple that I have. Woo, I'm feeling really swirly-whirly too after drawing all of these swirly lines and just have fun with it okay maybe you can draw a little tree on the bottom kind of like how that artist did it that artist is van gogh by the way we'll learn about him when you get a little older okay those are some of the trees maybe i can make a few more down here and your drawing is, is gonna be based on how you feel after reading that book. You might feel a different way. You might wanna draw um, something based on the sculpture that was in the museum. Maybe it's a person that you wanna draw. Maybe it's a place. There were some landscapes that we saw in that museum. I'm gonna use some orange. I'm gonna add some more swirls. Does everybody remember that painting that we have in our classroom? It's called Starry Night. And that's what we saw in the book too. Okay, so remember, you're gonna make what you wanna make. Okay, I'm probably gonna keep working on this after, but I just wanted to show you what I was inspired by from the book. And I'll show you this one again. This was the other one that I made. This was based on the fun, squiggly, colorful lines that made her feel all giggly, okay? So we're gonna be drawing how we feel today. All right. Okay, everybody, so thank you so much for reading along with me. I am so excited to see how your drawings come out. If you want to, feel free to send them to me, okay? I just wanna show you again, this was my finished one that was based off the Van Gogh painting that we saw. And then here was my other one. This was the fun and giggly one. All right? I miss all of you so much, and I hope to see you soon. Bye. Have fun.